Hi, welcome. Uh, this is Illyrio. You may or may not know me. I'm a podcaster. I'm a technology teacher. I'm a runner. I'm a father. And I have decided I'm going to start doing some tutorial videos. Uh, a few years ago, I did a couple of videos that were tutorial-ish. And I think people enjoyed those. So I'm going to start dedicating more time to making tutorial videos. This is also going to be something that I'm going to be focusing um, primarily on uh, Mac tech, iOS tech, um, all kinds of different things. Uh, some office software stuff, some Photoshop stuff, some um, iOS stuff, some running app stuff. Today is going to be an example of some running stuff. So there's going to be lots of variety. Uh, I'm hoping to make one of these every two weeks. Hopefully that'll be doable. Um, and we're going to see how it goes. So hopefully uh, you will enjoy this. Hopefully you will get something out of this. And as such, I'm going to be recording on multiple devices right now. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to. So as you can see here, I have my iPhone 6 and I'm going to be uh, showing you today a tutorial on how to use the Nike Plus running app, which is available on iOS, um, to uh, essentially coach you towards a race. Um, I use this multiple times. I'm going to go into the Nike running app right now. It's going to load up the startup page, uh, counting up kilometers and stuff. I'm on metric. I'm in Canada. I use metric for distances, but you can obviously customize this in the settings. Tap on the top left corner and get to the coach section. Now, here in the coach section, you'll actually be able to see that I do have some uh, coaching programs here from this previous year. So my four half marathons from 2014, I had some coaching programs in here. And you can always review the coaching programs um, that you've completed. Um, so for example, if I want to take a look at my coaching program from um, the beginning of the year for my first half marathon in April, I'm going to tap on that and you can actually see um, first week, second week, etc. And every time you see a green check mark, uh, that means that I've actually completed that particular thing. Um, right now, you're not seeing a lot of check marks because this is a new phone and I didn't load up all of my run data from the entirety of my history. So a lot of these it thinks that I haven't done yet. Uh, but in fact, you'll be able to analyze your runs anytime you want. Go back here. You can take a look at my training for the Toronto Waterfront Half, which um, interestingly enough, these two dates are pretty close together, right? So the Toronto one, the Montreal one, the dates are really close together. And usually the training programs that I was uh, coming up with were 12-week programs here. Um, and these were not 12 weeks apart. So when you take a look at the Montreal one, it was a five-week program because the half marathon previous to that was uh, the previous month. So I had a half marathon in April, one in August, one in September, one in October. So the October one was a three-week program. Uh, I find that even though... I was capable of doing it without the training program for myself as someone who responds very well to on this date, you have to run this many kilometers on this date, you have to run that many kilometers. Um, even though it seems a little absurd to just have a three week training program listed, um, it really did help me try to stay on track for my running. So how do you start a program? Well, there's a button down here called start a program. You tap on it and it's going to ask you to pick a distance. Now, these are the only distances that are listed on the app. So you will have to make sure that you're going to be training for a 5K, a 10K, a half marathon, or a full marathon. Regardless of whether or not you have a race, I think this is a really useful tool because sometimes you just need a little bit of a, of a push to get yourself out the door, you know, and it's really nice when you do perform your run and you do sync your run data with Nike Plus and you look to the coaching app and you do see a bunch of green check marks and, um, Lots of green means you're doing a good job. So uh, I'm going to create a program for a marathon. I recently signed up for my first ever marathon. It's going to take place in May 2015. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on marathon. Um, please note that it is recommending that I choose the intermediate level. I've never trained for a marathon with this app. I've never uh, completed a marathon ever. The longest distance I've ever run is 25 kilometers, but it, it knows my... Um, uh, mileage, it knows my pace, it, it knows how I run, so it's recommending that I do the intermediate plan. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, and it's going to give me a little preview 
Uh, and you can see here a total of 83 runs in the program, a total of 970 kilometers, 16 week program. If you go back, top left here, and you go to the beginner one, you'll see that this is a 24 week program. So depending on the level that you're at or you think you're at or the app thinks you're at, you're going to see a different number of weeks, a different amount of kilometers, um, and different number of runs, obviously. And if I were to go to the advanced one, you'll see that it's also a 16-week one, but uh, there th there's definitely more mileage here. So I'm going to go back here and choose the intermediate. Once I select program, on the bottom here, it's going to uh, give me the option to put in a race name and a race date. Now, I don't understand how not having a race date would work. I guess it would start immediately, and then you would just complete the program as such. I'm going to give it a name. So, Ottawa Marathon. Uh, and the race date is May 24th. If you were to pick a random date, for example, if I were to pick a date where the race would be on a Monday and I'd hit done, it would say, coach programs are optimized for weekend races. Continue with weekday race. And I'll say, oh, wait a second. I have to edit that race date. So if your race is on a Monday, go ahead. But it is optimized for weekend races. So I'm going to say edit the race date. Made a little boo-boo here. And I will go to May 24th. Sunday, May 24th. Hit done. And there we go. Get a head start. Your program begins February 2nd. For now, try running at least 8 kilometers a week. We'll let you know when your program is about to start. And I can go and hit OK. And I can go ahead and hit Start Program. And you can obviously share this. So if you have your Nike Plus app synced up with um, Facebook and or Twitter, you can go ahead and share it. And if I go ahead and hit Share, it's going to ask me to pick my, um, oh yeah, and Pinterest as well. So you can basically do this. I'm going to say put it on Twitter. I'm going to, I could add another message. I'm just going to post it. And there we go. Post it to my Twitter stream. So there you go. You can close this. You can go uh, hit done. And there is your training program. Uh, 82 days until program starts. You can tap on it and actually get a preview of what you're going to have to do. So uh, Monday, February 2nd is when it begins. And it basically you can tap in it. Basically take a look at every single thing that you need to do. Uh, it's pretty awesome. And you can take a look at, wow, look at all those kilometers you're going to have to run. And, oh my goodness, Saturday the 7th. So it's really neat because sometimes we get uh, requests to go places on the weekends. And if you know that you're going to have to run 13 kilometers on Saturday the 7th, then maybe you want to make sure that you have time for that. So I really like this. It helps me plan um, around my training. Uh, I'm a really big fan of it. So there you go. The Nike Plus running app the coach section. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was uh, fruitful and useful. And uh, please stay tuned for more tutorial videos like this one. Um, so thank you for joining me. And until next time, take care.